What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing good. We have a surprise guest today in the wheel, Hank Williams Jr. Looks like he's out duck hunting. I assume that's duck hunting. I don't know. Looks like he's duck hunting. Rest in peace, Bo Cephas. Is it Bo? Yeah, I think they call him Bo Cephas. Bo Cephas. Bo Cephas. I don't know. Uh, he's here now, though, and uh, I'm here with you. And 1995 Flare. So uh, my LCS got a bunch of these in, and I never opened this when I was younger. This was right around the time when I stopped collecting the first time but I do remember I think it was Jab's uh, top 10 worst sets of all time that this was pretty high up there and uh, I did some research on it and uh, it's considered one of the worst or ugliest series of all times uh, I understand why I like it it's it's it, some of them are a bit hard in the eyes each division has a different design uh, there are no great cards in this um, no big rookies uh, this is a, like I think five inserts subsets uh, hot packs I think it's one in 72 packs has uh, hot packs full of inserts and uh, yeah I opened up a couple stacks or the equivalent of two stacks. Well, I thought I did. Maybe I did less. We're going to open this up right now. We're not going to do all of them because people want to watch me do all of these. So we'll do enough to get a feel for the set. Uh, I have a few boxes of these. And I'm probably going to get more, actually. So the, the big card in this, or was in this, was the rookie exchange card, which is a redemption, which is one in 150. Um, and Mark B bought a stack of these the other night during the live stream, and of course, he got it. Um, he gets everything, though. And I'm glad that somebody gets everything. So, the insert is usually on the back. They are a little sticky, but they're not really bricked like crazy. Uh, the, so here's the problem. It's hard to, like I said, each card is different, so your eye has to adjust to every card differently. And it's hard to, like Chad Kruder, it's hard to see that, right? They have the stats on the front, uh, you know. Even on the back, it's hard to, to see their name. They don't have it normal. Uh, but that's a problem. So uh, I can see, like I said, I can see why people don't don't love this, like the set that much because it's it's you know it's strange. It's, it's Doug strange, but I kind of enjoy it. Uh, Scott Servius, Servius, Cerveza. Uh, I like these ones. Sean Berry. Uh, he kind of looks like, uh, like some, I don't know, he's being murdered in a cheap sci-fi flick. These may be the worst. Uh, they just really, they throw all the stats at you. Uh, the name is not very visible, and it's there again, Jose Lean. And again, on the back, like, it's covered up. His name's covered up by uh, trademark and stuff. So we have. And is that all? I think. Yeah, that's all the. This is the six different designs for each division. And uh, I don't know. I think that's my least favorite. This one's okay. My favorite, uh, this one sucks. <laughs> uh, I like this one because it's this weird, and I am weird. Uh, this one's okay. This one's, I like that the bottom half is, like, it's, I think sometimes they put 
what looks like machine parts on them, almost like flare metal. If you, this might be the cleanest design, the easiest with the, uh, the dual photo in the, the name. I think if you threw some foil or to type, you know, you could make these kind of like, a, what's it called, flare metal very easily. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to start trying to organize, do these by pile. Bill Ripkin. I see. James Houghton, I think. See, I like this. This is kind of cool. His glove is... Uh, I guess it's kind of uh, like Predator Vision. Uh, this is like if... Take him out of the picture. I guess it's kind of like baseball in hell uh, Brent Main and the Instar okay so that's cool I didn't have this one the Pro Visions uh, like the flair of the 90s they had the Pro Vision which is their Diamond Kings I think they blow Diamond Kings out of the water even 91 91 flair got a wax a cheap box of that is, is worth it just for the Pro Vision set because I think they're really great um, really nice looking and this is no different I like that the uh, little gold uh, Oreo is there. It's hard to see the name a bit, but um, I don't know what the hell this is behind him. I guess, so, okay, that's right. It, it's like a puzzle, so maybe we'll find another one. I kind of want to see if I can put one of these in them. No, they don't work there. So, yeah, what do you guys think? You like this? What's your favorite design? Uh, it's too bad that the there are no big cards in this so I, I would like to do I have some on my website um, oh I, the Derek Jeter top prospect card is the best one which I did pull already I, I forgot that was in here it's not really his rookie or anything but uh, I think Devin White or Devon White Bernard Gilkey, rest in peace. Jonathan Aged, he's not really dead or anything, just gone. Um, so I, I think about doing a divisional break with this because since it's, every division is different, I thought it would be kind of fun. But then again, uh, you know, my definition of fun is usually a bit off. Mark Grace, I'll put him... I'll just leave him because I'm going to go through these after and take certain guys out. Smoltz. Uh, Mark Guthrie. And so we have a top prospect of Ray Durham. They're not bad looking. They're pretty clean. A little stupid with the Bart Simpson bright, I'm, you know, major league prospect on the old uh, chalkboard a thousand times. Simpsons. I'll tell you. It's not just to mean that, that that show's gotten bad. It really has got... It's not so good anymore. I've caught a few of the newer episodes. Um, Barry Hill. And man, they are not good. John Smiley. And I'm wondering how good the original episode... Well, I'm not wondering how good they are. I was thinking, are they... Are they that good? Or are they just good relative to the other stuff that was on TV back then and uh, they were good I was watching um, this movie called The Seven Faces of Dr. Lau where it's like this this town um, has a uh, it's like a I think it's a west sort of uh, small small town in the 1800s and this guy Dr. Lau comes in Who's uh, Asian? Yeah, a little Asian dude played by Tony Randall. Yike. Chris Hammond. I'm sorry, dude. Hellish. I see Wade Boggs, I think. Yeah, so these are the uh, one of the inserts. I can't. What are these? Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. Okay, All Star Game. So they give a. 
not Williams and Wade Boggs. So if we were to do a divisional break on these, those would have to be random. So in this movie, this Dr. Lau comes in and he's got a little carnival and the seven faces of Dr. Lau are like seven different beings that he can be from like fortune teller to um, uh, abominable snowman and Medusa or Gorgon. So they're in the town. He comes in and, you know, he's very, he, different people in the town come and visit, get different, they see different faces. They're kind of reflection of their, uh, their problems, you know, um, and each person ends up better off for, you know, running into the Medusa or seeing a fortune teller and finding out their life isn't going to be what they expected, so they change and life is better for them. Um, but one of the characters in it is buying the town. He's, the, he's come th into the town, a new character. He's the villain. He comes into town and he um, he's going to buy it all out for cheap. They think it's for they think it's really good, but he knows that there's a railroad is going to be coming through there. And then at the end, he, because of Dr. Lau, he is, uh, you know, he changes his ways and all is good. Except for a couple of uh, thugs in it. Royal Dano, if, you, if you're familiar with Royal Dano, he's one of the uh, the thugs. He was in a lot of, a lot of, eight. he was in um, Kill Cosmo to Space. He was in Ghoulies 2 or 3. As well as a million other movies. Lee Leader's car. Anyways, I was thinking of the monorail episode of The Simpsons. I think Conan O'Brien wrote that. And um, that's where I got thinking was that a good episode? Or was it good just because, you know, relative to the things that were on TV back then? And I think they were really good. I think they were really smart, really funny. And I don't know why they're so bad now. It's Messina. Uh, I, maybe they're, they try to be so... There's a lot of... Uh, it seemed like the few new episodes I've seen. Ozzy got some hot... His loins are just cooking up. I wonder who's, who's Ozzy looking at right there that's heating up his pants like that. The line of the shields. Maddox. Um, checklist. Oh, yeah, sticky card. Pedro Muniz. So, um, what the hell was I saying? Before I got, we got talking about Ozzy Smith's pants. Oh, the, the Simpsons always had pop references, or, you know, uh, pop culture references. Um, but it seems like the new ones have a lot more maybe where the hell did I put the box of this stuff there it is and the ones that they have they're, they're, they feel real real lame and forced so I don't know I don't I don't watch regularly maybe they are there are lots of good episodes that, that I just haven't seen um but nothing holds a candle to King of the Hill, uh, the greatest animated show of all time, and one of the best TV shows of all time. I, I've seen that. It's the only series I've ever watched from beginning to end, and then beginning to end, and then beginning, you know, I'll just watch it over and over again. And uh, it never gets, it's not bad. I don't think there's a bad episode, and it ends good. Um, I was really pissed when it ended because they ended it for the Cleveland. I know the Cleveland show took a spot, and that show sucks. Or sucked. I don't even know if it's still on. Probably is. Matt Williams. But yeah, King of the Hill. I'm trying to think of other really good animated shows. South Park. Um, I'm not a big fan of that show. I'm not a, much of a fan of uh, Seth MacFarlane, but I do like The Orville. I think it's definitely better than the new Star Trek uh, Star Trek Discovery I have not seen Picard I was actually going to start watching it tonight I don't know why I think I've been 
It's like uh, the slow rolling of cards, the delayed gratification. Um, Barry Larkin. You know, delayed gratification is a lot more important than people think. Um, how important that is to Pat Hennigan and Dane Jackson. Um, the evolution of our species being able to say, I'm going to hold, I'm going to wait and enjoy this later. Uh, you know, foresight, fores forethought, foresight, um, saving food, things like that. So when I slow roll a card, I know some people don't like it. When I slow roll, I think, well, that's just, that's just, that's just some reptilian goo kicking off in his brain. Jeff Kent. What do you guys think? Jeff Kent was kind of a beast, huh? Jeff King's got some... He's got fire ass. You know, opening all these cards, I think... I need some more girl cards. Like, girl, girls in baseball. I'm surprised there aren't any. Zillow and... Another Randy Johnson. And John Hudek. Who that boy? Who that boy? I'd like to get a hot pack. It'd be cool to get a hot pack on camera. You guys agree that this is the ugliest set or one of the ugliest sets? I think I think 90, like 88 tops is uglier than this. I don't know. I guess that this is this is much more aggressive than 88 tops. But I think a lot of those sets. Um, 88 is so boring. I like 87, but it's still boring. There's, there's my dude, Rock Reigns. Um, somebody said, I think it was Kevin Jones, Kevbo Jones, said that uh, he liked it because it was kind of a throwback to the vintage 88, but the photos are so friggin' boring. They're so bland. Um, just, except I like the, um, the leaders' cards, like the Nolan Ryan and the. Uh, Eddie Murray. They're all all the uh, all red background. Those are cool. But other than that, I think it's pretty pretty boring set. We got a Charles Charles Johnson Charles Charlie Chuck. Ninety Donruss, eighty eight Donruss. Like I think they're much worse than this. Uh, these are those are just uninspired. Everyone inspired. I mean, this was a, like, I guess this was two 90s, and that Flair is like, hey, it's like 90, 93 Flair? I don't know what 94 Flair looks like. 93 Flair, 92 Flair stinks. Some people like guys, not for me. Uh, 93 Flair, that gray, boring. Uh, what a dead set. Uh, yeah, my LCS actually got a bunch of 93 flavor with this, uh, stacks of it, and uh, I might want to go after it, uh, go at it for maybe, um, there's some big yo for, uh, the ProVision stuff, but that's it. We'll do like two more, 18 minutes, and time flies when you're looking at worthless baseball cards. Another one of these. You see any of these things are kind of yeah. Do one more pack to finish off this little stack, and then we'll shut it down. Because I took my like, I got a Pro Visions card in the back, which is cool. I think probably my average watch time in this video will be about a minute and thirty seconds. Checklist. Any company that still puts checklist in and counts it as a card needs to go. I want to make one complaint before this video is over. That I found out today that you are allowed to be a, you can tops verifies people's bots so they can buy products online uh, with the bots promoter. So you can be a verified bot and uh, get something like today came out Bowman Sapphire. Uh, different limited things they're sold out within seconds because the site doesn't work because of the verified bots 
uh, you'll be timed out because you're clicking too fast because they think you're a bot. But they say in the message, if you want to be verified, your, your bot wants to be verified, contact us. That is garbage. Uh, top should be absolutely ashamed. Uh, they don't care. I, but they sh Whoa, what the hell? Okay, that's absolutely insane. It's absolute... What? Hold on. Hold the phone. See if these now I guess is so that is that is absolute craziness. Flare was out of their mind in the nineties. Skybox and Flare, their metal stuff, right? This is the was this one Marvel owned Flare? I mean what he's on a rock in the ocean. There's a fish. I don't even know these psst, what up. I don't understand it. I'm not making the connection between Cy Young Ward Warner being in the ocean. The sky looks like it's suffered a nuclear war or something. Um, I don't. I don't understand it, but I do love it. Um, so I will try to put together a provision set from this, and that's it. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. Um, these are fun cards for me. And they're cheap. If anybody's interested in doing the uh, divisional break, uh, I'm trying to see if we can get this guy on camera having stock crap in my driveway. All right, he walked away. Um, let me know. It would be like two boxes. It would be relatively cheap. So, be fun. At least it would be fun for me.